Hello everyone, it's Sandra and welcome to today's video. I wanted to talk about my fashion favorites, some of my best fashion purchases of the past year. Before I really close the chapter on 2022, I wanted to just show a few of my favorite fashion purchases, whether it was something really, really emotional that just excited me or whether it was something that I just wore a ton. I thought it would be fun to round them up. Overall, 2022 was a very good year for me in terms of fashion finds. It was a great year of me continuing to kind of refine my taste and my wardrobe. I'm going to start with what I'm wearing right now and it is knitwear. I'm a big fan of knitwear. I live in a cold climate. I am in and out of sweaters for probably a good six months out of the year. I'm always cold. The sweater that I'm wearing right now is one of my most worn, one of my favorite purchases that I've made and it is from Cause. I bought it in September, either September or October, kind of, you know, at the beginning of fall, and this was part of their Atelier collection. It is a beautiful, boxy, turtleneck sweater. It has a really interesting split detailing. Sometimes I just wear a like a tank top underneath, a camisole, if I want to, to layer up. It's just really, really cozy. It's a beautiful, high-quality cashmere sweater, and I love the color. It is just the most perfect dark brown. It's a really dark, rich brown, and in 2022, I've really appreciated the color brown in my wardrobe more than ever. I really appreciated the power of a good brown item of clothing in my wardrobe in 2022. I think 2021 was all about navy for me, and then Last year, I really got into brown, a bit more more interest and, and texture in an outfit, having you know brown and black or brown and navy. There are no rules, you know what I mean? Just you just gotta mix it, mix it all up. And then the other super super exciting knitwear purchase for me was this cardigan from Kate. Now I did a whole video. I think I did like a ten looks with eight items of clothing video. A few months ago and I showed a few different ways that I like to wear this sweater. I bought this in the beginning either January or February of 2022. I found it pre-loved on Vestiaire Collective and uh, that was really exciting because the full price of these sweaters is eye-wateringly expensive. It had been worn once so it, it still came with like the tag on and everything. It's got to be like an influencer selling it, you know what I mean? Because Kate does a lot of influencer gifting and this was a seasonal color so i feel like they they probably just sent it to an influencer maybe the influencer wore it once for an instagram photo and then they ended up selling it the style name of this cardigan is scarlet it's probably the most famous item of clothing from this brand they have them in a whole bunch of different colors and the seasonal colors always go on sale i've even seen the pink one go on sale i think Last summer, it was in the Saks Fifth Avenue sale, and again, I saw it for 50% off. They go really fast, but if you do want one of these, and if you don't mind a more funky color, a funky seasonal color, the seasonals go on sale. The like the really popular tan one and the black one, I've never seen those on sale. I love this. I absolutely love this pink color, and it just makes me happy. It makes me happy. I wear it year round. I, you know, the color is fun enough that I can wear it in spring and summer, you know, summertime in the evening if it gets a little bit chilly out. Just just have it having it on, on the backs of my shoulders gives me some warmth. It is an incredibly heavy cashmere knit. It's almost like a coat sometimes and in, in how how heavy and how luxurious it feels. It's super super gorgeous and I'm so thrilled to have this in my life. I feel like I'm going to have this for many, many years. So this was definitely one of my most worn, most coveted items of clothing that I bought in the last year. The next item of clothing is something that I loved so much, I ended up getting it in two different colors. Usually, like a white button-up shirt is one of my wardrobe staples and has been one of my wardrobe staples for years. I have some old ones from H&M and Arquette that I just constantly have on rotation year round and I wanted to expand my horizons and get some different colors this year and I found the Will oversized shirt from Reformation. I started out with this black one. I really wanted a black cotton shirt, especially in the summertime. This acted like a black blazer for me in the summertime. Fit the purpose of a blazer but was obviously a bit more lightweight. So I bought this uh, black cotton 
shirt from Reformation. Like I said, the style name is Will. I bought it in a size small. They are, it is cut to be more oversized, but um, it just hangs really, really nicely. It, it's organic cotton with 2% elastane, so it has a little bit of like stretch to it, and it's not so crisp and stiff as 100% cotton like my white 100% white cotton poplin shirts are a bit more crisp a bit more stiff this one I feel like because of the added elastane to the mix it's kind of more relaxed and it hangs really nicely so absolutely love this and then I saw this colorway and I fell in love with it as well this is blue with white stripes very very cool loved wearing this again in the summertime I also loved wearing this in, in fall and winter you know in the winter time I usually just wear a turtleneck underneath next up I have this graphic tee from the brand Imogene and Willie this past year I discovered Imogen, Imogene and Willie when I was in Nashville they are a brand based out of Nashville and they just have the best high quality broken in graphic t-shirts I love their t-shirts I think they're so much fun and you know we love a classic t-shirt, a black t-shirt, a white t-shirt, you know, they're a staple in our wardrobes, but sometimes, you know, in a world of capsule wardrobes and all this wardrobe curation, we got to remember to have a little fun, you know? So I love a graphic tee, a graphic tee, jeans, and a blazer, a pair of loafers. That's like one of my signature looks and just adds a bit more personality. And yeah, so if you see a graphic t-shirt, that kind of sums up your personality whether it's your dry sense of humor and your favorite band your favorite tv show your favorite ice cream store down the street you know i love a graphic t-shirt i love some merch and like i said it's a great way to kind of inject your personality into your look a bit and then on that same nashville trip i bought this blazer this blazer is from the brand closed i fell in love with this blazer mainly because of the color it has this gorgeous they call it platinum. It's just a gorgeous, cool-toned color. It's like cream meets gray meets a little bit of blue. It's a beautiful light neutral, and most of the blazers that I have are dark, so it's it's nice to have a lighter option, and I wore this. I've worn this so much. I wore this a lot more than I thought I would. To be honest, I'm just constantly reaching for this blazer. Again, it has an oversized fit to it, but... It's not too oversized. It's not as dramatic in the shoulder pad action as some of my vintage blazers. It's perfect. It goes with everything. Like I said, the cut is just so, so good. It's not too oversized, but it is, you know, it's not too tapered and not too slim. I'm wearing this in the size extra small, so I did size down because I, I have a lot, like I said, I have a lot of really dramatic, super oversized blazers, and I wanted something that's just kind of just right and I think it's on sale now I vaguely recall seeing it on Farfetch in in their like end of season clearance so I will be linking it below if any of you are interested I just love it it's a beautiful lightweight wool material and it's gonna be another wardrobe staple for me for many many years to come the final item of clothing in my 2022 Hall of Fame is this top this was it's just so cool. It's one of those items. Obviously, it's not the most versatile item of clothing. It's not something that I can just throw on every single day, but it is just such a cool special piece. And it's just something that I absolutely love and it's something that I see myself treasuring. This will be a really cool vintage piece to kind of pass on as well. I think it's so cool. And it is a crochet top from Loewe. I absolutely love it. It's like essentially a halter top, but the halter part is a lizard. So you tie, I'm gonna put pictures on the screen obviously from when I've worn it, but you just, you put it on and the neck part is a lizard. <laughs> So it's really, really cool. It's this gorgeous khaki color and it's like my go-to evening out top if I'm on vacation. I can only really wear this on vacation. It's very much like a tropical destination kind of top. I get so many compliments on it and I just feel really good in it. It's just, it's just gorgeous. It's really cool. And I usually just wear it with black linen shorts or black linen trousers. When it comes to accessories, this handbag, I actually vlogged the unboxing of this handbag. I bought this in the summer and this has been my most worn handbag. Ever since I bought it, I had been reaching for it constantly. 
even more than I thought I would. I thought this was just going to be a really cute summer bag, but I ended up wearing it a ton in the fall and also in the winter. Didn't realize how versatile a white bag would be, even in the colder months. It just lifts up an outfit really nicely. I wear a lot of all black, all brown, like all dark colors, and having a white handbag really lifts up an outfit in such a beautiful way. So I have worn this a ton. They also have it in a whole bunch of different colors now. It doesn't show any scratches. It hasn't had any color transfer on it. There's no stains and I'm not particularly precious with my bag. I love this little silver turn lock detail. They also make it in gold. It's small, obviously. It's not the roomiest of bags, but I don't really carry a lot of stuff with me. I usually, you know, it's, it's plenty. It fits my phone, my card holder my keys, a little lip balm, and I'm good to go. You can actually make the strap a little bit longer so that it fits like a cute 90s style small shoulder bag. Most of the time I just carry it like this, like a little top handle. You can also remove this all together and it's just, you know, you can just wear it as a clutch. One of my most worn favorite purchases of 2022. And then the other bag is one of my more recent handbag purchases. I bought this in the fall of 2022. I bought this secondhand from Fashion File. It was in incredible condition and it is a Bottega Veneta mini pouch. I had been wanting a Bottega mini pouch for a long time. I have the larger pouch. And yeah, I've just, I've always wanted a mini, but I wasn't sure what color to get. They have so many amazing colors. It's really hard to choose. It was hard to make a decision, but ultimately, you know, it was fall. I love a burgundy accessory. The condition was excellent. So I bit the bullet and I bought this. This was actually the first bag I ever bought from Fashion File and it was actually a really good experience. So I have worn this constantly since I bought it. And again, I love the way it works with brown, navy, black, with all my darker outfits. This just kind of, it's still neutral, it's still dark, but it just adds a little bit of extra richness, extra texture to a look. And I find it a lot more versatile and a lot more visually interesting than having it than having a black bag, essentially. I think because I also love wearing all black outfits so much, having an all black outfit and then a black bag feels a bit too dark. So it's a fun way to introduce a little bit of color, but still keeping things toned down. It has a strap. The strap is adjustable, so you can, you can kind of adjust it to a length that fits your body. It's great as a clutch. It's great, you know, as a shoulder bag. It can be worn crossbody as well. I just, I've been loving it. I've been reaching for it a ton. The only thing is, if you have a larger phone, I don't know if it's going to fit, to be honest. I have a hard time getting my phone in and out. The opening, like if I angle it diagonally, it fits, but the opening is like as, pretty much as tall as this regular size iPhone. So if you have a larger phone, you're probably going to have a hard time getting it in here. If you have like an iPhone Max or something something larger, it it won't fit in it. So just just a word of warning. Finally, let's talk shoes. This was another Bottega Veneta secondhand purchase that absolutely made my year. I had been hunting for these on the pre-loved market for like a year and a half. This particular shoe came out I think in 2019 and I loved it but I just I never I never bit the bullet I never bought them I missed the boat I never bought them but then I couldn't stop thinking about them so I decided to hunt for them on the pre-loved market and my mom actually saw them so shout out to my mom she is the one that found these on Poshmark and I was absolutely thrilled the previous owner again had worn them maybe twice they were in amazing amazing condition in my size and obviously I had to buy them and I absolutely love them. Again, they look so, so good with an all black outfit or just an all dark outfit. They liven things up the perfect amount and they're really, really comfortable. I've actually worn them quite a bit given the fact that they're heels. I just constantly reach for them and they make me so happy. So here they are, absolutely love them. They have they're like a crinkled leather with this zebra print and you know they have this nice grippy rubber 
bottom i find them really comfortable it's funny because actually michelle wong she recently did a video with her best and worst purchases of 2022 and she has these in all black and she actually finds them really uncomfortable because of where the elastic hits the back of her foot she finds it really painful for me i don't find these painful at all for some reason i mean you know it depends on everybody's got different foot foot structure foot anatomy it does not hit me at a tender spot so i don't find them uncomfortable at all absolutely love them thrilled to have these in my life and finally my other favorite shoe purchase of 2022 was something that i i honestly did not expect to be as obsessed with these as i ended up being i was really i don't know i had a hard time deliberating between these because they are a bit funky a little bit weird and you know i love something that's funky and weird but even these these were definitely pushing me outside my comfort zone but i'm so glad i gave them a try i had ordered them and my full intention was to return them because i was just i was like oh my god are these me these don't really feel like me but they ended up being exactly the thing that i needed in my closet and it's the giant fisherman sandals from prada it's like toddler shoe meets monster truck it's you know they they're very obnoxious very oversized and i cannot get enough they're rubber and they're actually very very lightweight and they are so so comfortable i bought these towards the end of spring of 2022 end of spring beginning of summer and i wore these the most this was my most worn shoe all summer long i can tread through the deepest puddles with these shoes and not have a worry in the world i absolutely love these i especially loved pairing these with like a dainty summer dress i love the juxtaposition of a really feminine classy lady dress and then you have these like monster truck toddler shoes on the bottom they just they create the perfect amount of friction in an outfit for me and they just kind of make things look a bit more modern absolutely love these they have them in a whole bunch of different colors they have them in white they have them in blue pink yellow a surprise hit for me i was not i was not expecting to love these as much as i did but i'm so happy i have them in my life they fit true to size. I bought my usual size. Not Definitely not for everyone, but super comfortable. I can walk for miles in them, and I have walked for miles with them. I remember I brought them with me when I was visiting my friend Dina in Chicago. It was a super rainy weekend, so you know we were walking around the city with our umbrella, and I had these sandals on. It was hot because it was summer, but it was also quite wet because it was raining, so this is the perfect shoe. They look really cute with socks too so i can even stretch them out to wear them you know a little bit in the fall if it's not too cold out with a sock they can look really cool so love them one of my favorite purchases of the year hope you enjoyed this video it was actually pretty difficult to narrow it down to these i feel like i made a lot of really good fashion purchases that i loved in in 2022 but these are definitely the ones that kind of stand out to me the most looking back at the year thank you so much for watching i hope you're having a beautiful day and i will see you in my next video bye